Okay, so recently I've had a reader question asking about building relationships with Chinese suppliers and or guanxi as we call it. And one of my readers, Brandon, asked specifically, um, is there anything that crosses the line, any topic that is taboo where they would say that's none of your business? Um, so in my view, being on the ground, you know, years based in China and working with hundreds of suppliers, um, as a general rule, I haven't found any topic that was taboo that made them say that's none of your business, you know. Um, but there are some exceptions. So let's take a look at this. Let's unpack this. So one of the, the number one topics that may be taboo in the West, um, these could include like family. Um, for China specifically, family is the number one most important thing. Um, you know, the family unit, that's like the first priority for most Chinese people. So um, they're okay talking about their family. And then, especially if you're based in the U.S., if you're American, I think that most times they're, they're very curious about American culture. Um, they may have some preconceptions about U.S. culture, you know, what they see in the movies, what they uh, see on TV. So I think that's one good topic that you could explore to kind of build relationships. And then secondly is politics. I mean, this often is a no-no uh, here in the U.S. and in the West, right? But if in China, actually, you know, they're very curious to learn more about, um, you know, my thoughts about President Trump. Um, and then, you know, they, they are like they're very eager to talk about politics, actually. Um, and it, it's kind of funny because this is in private, of course. I mean, in, in public in China, you know, people don't really talk about politics at all uh, because there's no freedom of speech, right? There's, you know, different different um, laws against this, right? So it is a, a different set of rules that they play by in China, okay? Um, I think another topic that people would talk about is, uh, they're afraid to talk about, is religion. Um, but in China, this is okay to talk about as well. I mean, the caveat is that in China, most people are atheists, meaning, um, you know, they're non-religious. Although there are some Buddhists, there are some ethnic minorities that are Muslim, and then there's a growing Christian community as well. But religion, it's okay to talk about, um, in private, of course, okay? And uh, so these are three topics that may not be okay to talk about in the West, but would be okay to talk about in China. These are some key differences. Um, some things that may be sensitive include talking about human rights, for example, in China. This is a sensitive topic, and some people may not be comfortable talking about it. And then another thing is uh, within politics, like directly criticizing the Chinese leaders, I find that this is something that I, I tend not to address during our course of conversation because, um, you know, they may be sensitive about that, which I think is kind of funny because in China, people always like to criticize what the Americans are doing. But on the other hand, very few people criticize what their own political leaders are doing. So double standard or not, I mean, it is what it is. OK. And then finally, I mean, curiously enough, I think one of the top questions that I've gotten personally when speaking with Chinese suppliers building relationships is the topic of guns. OK, um, what the, the question is not do you own a gun because they know i'm from the u.s but the question rather is how many guns do you own so they assume that all americans own guns and the question is like how many do you actually have which i think is is kind of funny so i'll leave it on that note i hope this helps and wish you guys good luck and success with your guanxi and your relationships with chinese suppliers